didn't have it in me. And I just wanted to be in, in my car. I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to do anything. And so that's what I did. What's up, ass babes? It's your girl, Joy. Back with another video. So today is Sunday. And here I go again, attempting to try another church. So this church is called the Luke Church. And it's packed. We should've got here just a little bit earlier. So we'll see what it is what happens and I was told to get here early but um, it is what it is okay at least I'm in Very good message. Very good message. So now I'm off to head to my storage, which is a mess. Clean out my car, which is a mess. Yesterday I did nothing and I felt very guilty. I actually saw some of my students at church. So I felt guilty. Yesterday was a day where it was a little struggle for me. And some of you know that, you know, depression is something that I've battled with for a long time. But it's like a lot of it I've learned to cope. Um, but sometimes it'll just slip in. But the thing that I've learned is that I know not to stay there. So I allow myself was the crying and stuff although i i felt like i wanted to but i refused because then i suffered the consequences of puffy eyes so i allowed myself to just be down i gave myself permission to wallow in that moment and i couldn't quite pinpoint why i was feeling that way um i guess i could a little bit a little bit I could, but it wasn't enough for me to stay. So today's a new day. I still feel residual effects of it, but I know that life goes on and I know that I just gotta keep living. And although I do have my bouts of depression and sadness and loneliness, you know, um, you know, a feeling of family and stuff like that. I know that life goes on and it is not 
at a point where I'm going to stay there because I got to keep moving. And I know that this too shall pass. And so that's probably why I also love school and teaching because although I'm not close with anyone at school, like adults, I'm not close with anyone, but my students, they fill my life with so much joy. Even the ones who are tough, you know, gives me a sense of purpose. That's what it is. It's a sense of purpose that I have as an educator. Am I the best educator? Absolutely not. Is my heart in the right place? Yes, it is. It's like teaching is probably something that, that makes my life purposeful and meaningful. And my lessons are not always academic. Sometimes it's about life. It's about not giving up. But even if you are someone who suffers from depression, my advice is keep fighting. If you need medicine, um, seek help. There's nothing wrong with taking medicine. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, um, I take medicine and it, it does help with certain things. But you know, to still seep through here and there, but not enough for me to stay. I know not to stay. So it's something that I fight. And I don't feel like, feel as though I fight it every day, but I choose to be happy. I choose happiness. Some days are harder than other, but it's still a choice that I make to try my best to be happy and to be thankful for those small things in life. Oh, they have a um, high school band. I'm like, what was that? So the high school band will be playing outside while um, people are leaving the church. So anyway, um, so it's a choice that I make. It's a choice that you can make. And some people have depression and um, they're bipolar. Some of it is really intense. So I feel as though I'm not that intense. I've made poor decisions in the past um, when I was younger that I think I've overcome and I don't think I'll go down that path again with, you know, with um, depression. And it's nothing that I've said, I've, I've hidden from you guys. I've talked about it um, in videos before. So, you know, but once in a blue moon, it, it pops back up. But I know that I'm going to keep fighting. So it's never something that where I'm going to stay. But I do allow myself that permission to be in that space. Does that make sense? So I fight to get out of that space. And so, you know, living in my car, you know, it's nice and cozy. It's like a, it's like a little cave. It was the perfect space for me. Probably, you know, not a good space, but like I said, I gave myself permission to be in my little cave hole. And it was cozy, watch movies. I knew I had work to do, but I was like, I also have a right to not work every moment of my life. And I don't mind because I enjoy what I do. And it's been a little harder because I haven't had my ADHD medicine. And I've said this before, so sometimes I do repeat myself. No one truly understands the brain of someone with ADHD. They just don't understand it. And some days it's so hard just to do basic things. Okay, I'm not getting emotional. I refuse today. But once again, I gave myself permission. Today, I have to join the living. You take care of a few things. I have to do laundry. I have to pick out clothes for next week. I have to organize my storage because it feels like chaos right now. Sometimes teaching feels like chaos. I just feel all over the place. I didn't plan this at all. So. That said, if you are ever in a dark place, you have to fight it. And 
is something I've learned to fight for probably over 30 years. So it's something I've, I, I know to cope with. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to get that new viral TikTok Starbucks drink because I am surprised I don't do pumpkin nothing. I'm just going to just move. I'm not going to go back to my cave. And I went to my cave. Remember, I retreated to my car early yesterday. I just didn't have it in me. And I just wanted to be in, in my car. I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to do anything. And so that's what I did. I did go to the gym. I took a cycle class. <laughs> And I really wasn't feeling a class. I knew something was a little off. I was a little not as energetic. Because I'm, I'm typically energetic. So anyway. Okay. It's time to go be amazing. And to be a blessing to someone else today. And I hope that me sharing a part of me has encouraged you. That it's okay to be down. But it is not okay to stay there. Would I like to crawl back in my home? Yes, but I know I have things to do. I have to join the living. So, with that said, I love you. If you are still here, thank you for loving me. My highs, my lows, my ups and downs my crazy decisions yes they're crazy um but they're mine i mean people judge you could judge all you want but it's still my life to live it's still my mistakes to make and the way only way i'm going to learn is by living through these experiences no matter how bad they are or even how good they are they're still my experiences that i need to learn and grow from even in my old age and I still love me. At the end of the day, I still love joy. Ooh, I just tooted. I still love joy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have an amazing day or have an amazing evening. And I hope you have an even better tomorrow. And remember, fight. Enjoying the living fight it okay i love you until next time later Hi. okay so i want a pumpkin cream chai latte with oat milk two pumps of vanilla two pumps of brown sugar. Okay. Iced. Okay. Iced, iced baby. I think I got it right. Well, I decided to sit outside for a little while because it is absolutely breathtaking out here. And I guess I can do a little bit of work. You heard my drink order, right? You heard that, right? Let me see. Let me see if it tastes the same. So this will be my second time trying the viral TikTok spice pumpkin cream chai latte. <laughs> okay, okay. Baby. Mm. Turn me into a pumpkin, honey. Bust it. And I, like I said before, I never order anything, pumpkin, nothing. I really like this. I really, maybe because it's different. You at least gotta try it for one time. Can I get this all the time? No, it's too expensive. Starbucks, they're expensive. But she good though, y'all, she good. She does.